Monday everybody I'm just making myself a little lunch I had a lovely morning I did a nice bala bangle burn class at equinox hit the steam room now I'm making myself and then I got a blowout too making myself a turkey burger and I just put a little cheese on it with some cauliflower thins the best and then I just put a little ketchup on it I'm pretty simple and big ketchup girl it's the primal kitchen ketchup um, so yeah, I'm just cooking this really quick. Brooke is gonna come now. We're recording the podcast today. I feel like such a little grill master over here. So obviously I set up here. Um, we are having both of our hairstylists on. Her name is Mads Hair on Instagram. We call her Mads. Um, and so obviously I was like, I need to get my hair done before we record. Um, and we're talking all things hair. Like she's giving us all the recs. A lot of you guys submitted your own questions on the Gals and My Go podcast Instagram, like, how many times a week should I be washing my hair? Like, how can I make my hair last in between washes? Like, so many things. We're so excited. Mads always gives us the best recs. I really love her and her personality, so we knew we had to have her on Gals on the Go. So, we're recording here today, and I'm about to do my makeup, but my hair is done, and then I'm just going to throw on, like, a sweater, I think. Um, pretty easy, but... I wanted to make sure I like fed myself a good meal rather than like rushing and like eating something random. I was like, no, it's going to take five extra minutes to make the turkey burger and you're going to be happy because podcasting takes a lot out of me because Brooke and I still are going to record our separate intro to the pod. So welcome back to a week in my life in New York City. I just got a meat thermometer because I get so sketched out when I'm cooking meat. And I just want to make sure, because I, I literally just never know. It said it needs to get to 150 temperature. But I'm like, am I even doing it right? Like, I actually don't know. Comment down below if I'm doing this correct. And, like, when do I wait? Because it's just getting higher. I'm like, what? Like, I don't know. Ta-da. Added a little cheese on top. I'm so excited. Just got all ready. Um, Brooke said she was wearing a sweater and jeans. So... I wore a sweater and jeans. Um, we try to do like the same vibes. I'm not really sure what Mads is wearing, but she knows it's video. Um, just wearing some jeans. Sweater is from Zara. I love the green. It pops on camera. I have a white couch, so I thought that was good. Wearing these necklaces from Orium Collective. I like how they look together. Earrings, Maggie Villa Maria jewelry. And I'm really happy I got my hair done. Like, I just love the dry bar so much. With dry bar, you just gotta tell them specifics. So I said, Straight with volume, rounded out ends. Flipped out ends. Hey. I'm obsessed with these lights I got. I think one is on different setting. One is cool tone, one is warm tone. I'm just realizing. Oh, I just noticed that Oops. too. Is there like a button to change that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't even worry about it. It still looks great. See if your face changes. Yes, it looks uh, more warm now. I guess that's what we're We've gonna do We've got that today. glow. Yeah, it kind of makes you look all glowy. We're yes. Brooke just got back from one of her friends' bachelorette trips. So, so Mads just came. We talked all things hair. It was literally such a good episode. I learned so, so much. Great. Like we learned like why you really need to get your hair cut. We're not gonna say why because you have to go listen to the episode. But there's like truly a reason. And mm -hmm. yeah, now we're gonna record an intro, just the two of us, and catch up and mustard about our weekend. And get after it. Whoa. Oh, I know. This brand sent me stuff, and I love the packaging. Wait, did you see? I was, like, playing with it before, because, look, I think, like, they're meant to all go together, so, like, I don't I don't know 
what the practicality of this exactly is, but the you bottom, can go another lip like gloss. the base. <laughs> Yeah, why? It's like Lego. I think like they have like an eyeshadow that would fit in there. Oh my god! You know, it's like it, they all snap together. Euphoria. I, I think they've emailed me before. I need to hit them up. Yeah, it's I cute. just like a pretty pink gloss like that. Oh, um, always. So um, we'll do a little intro action. I like your necklaces. Where are those from? Thank you, Orium Collective. Oh, I'm uh, obsessed. Honestly, I fully copied Kelly. She had both of these on together, and I thought they looked really cool. I need. I like chunky, thick. I just love the necklaces vibe. So I'm there. I'm there. Yeah, thank you. All, All right. right. <laughs> We're both YouTubers, clearly. All right. All right, Brooke just left. It was such a great episode. Really happy with how it turned out. I think you guys are going to love it. The intro and then those um, interview with Mads. It was so good. It wasn't even an interview. It was like chatting. You guys know the vibes. I am so hungry for dinner. I don't even know. Woo! Um, I think it's all the talking. Um, so I have ground turkey that I made last week. I made it plain. But I do have taco seasoning. But since it's already cooked, I'm going to mix the taco seasoning with water or oil or whatever it says to do. And then just like pour it over the ground turkey and just cook it a little bit because I don't want to like burn the turkey but I don't want to just put it on like cold turkey <laughs> that was funny I don't want to put it on cold turkey but I literally don't want to put this on there without cooking it a little bit so then we have some tortillas it's taco Monday okay I have lettuce I have a shredder you guys have probably seen it in some of my vlogs. It's like this little handheld thing, and I just put some lettuce in there, and then you literally pull it. So, love that. And then I got some pico de gallo right here that I'm going to put on top. I'm a pretty plain taco eater, so yeah, but it's going to be perfect. Yummy. I'll probably have like three, um, and then I'll have leftovers, so yay. Ta-da. That was so easy, and it looks so delicious. Watching Nashville right now, just finished dinner, cleaning up a little bit from the podcast. I'm about to attempt to make some overnight oats. I got these amazing things from Amazon. I literally looked up overnight oat cups and it came in a pack of two with a little spoon and everything. This is the cutest thing because I just think this is way easier for me to like eat in the morning before I go to a workout. I don't love super sweet things in the morning, so we'll see, but I'm going to try it out. So we got oats, vanilla extract, chia seeds, whole milk, and then I'm going to put some berries on top and let the juices soak in. So let's do this. I already washed these. I'm just going to do it kind of my measurements. This recipe I found on Feel Good Foodie says one part oats, one part milk, one half part seeds, which for me, it's chia seeds. And there's photos too. You could also just use like a glass cup, which is what I was going to do. All right, we're all done. I did one with more milk, one with less milk. I'm gonna see how it kind of absorbs. I'm gonna cut up some berries now so I can put them as toppings later. I'm actually not gonna put them in the fridge. I don't really know. I'll just put them on in the morning. But yeah, in the fridge they go. That was, that took five minutes. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning. I'm doing my doing well daily planner, planning out all the things. About to have this mirror hung up. I'm so, so excited and then also, I got new um, curtain rod holders for my bedroom so that it goes right to my ceiling and there's less space. I don't know if you guys can tell, but when these were hung, didn't realize that there would be such a space because I thought they were gonna be able to be hung out and then it would cover, but because there's some pipe there, we can't do that. Um, so I got new rods, but well, my dad found them on Etsy and like got them customized, which is so nice so that they'll literally be on that like ceiling part and it should bring up the rods about four inches. So there's like no light and it'll just lift them perfectly off the ground. So I don't have to get them hemmed. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it just doesn't look that good. So yeah. And then we'll be just about ready for an apartment tour, which will be so exciting. So yeah. Good morning. I'm not hungry quite yet, but oh my God. I wanted to check in on my overnight oats. So this is the one I did with less milk. This is the one I did with more milk. I don't know which one I'll try today, but they both look great. I'm so excited. And then I cut up some strawberries and put some blueberries in there too that I'll put on top. Woohoo! All right, it is time to try my overnight oats. I put some berries on top. I don't even know how to... They're really hard. How do I even get the berries in there? Okay, that's pretty freaking good. 
you can tell I could have probably added a little bit more vanilla extract but really wow that's so easy mm, 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 mm. okay so we are about to head oh so also I just got this jacket or like sweatshirt hoodie whatever from Jenny Kane it's like a sweaty sweaty it's a sweaty material sweater material it's so comfy and just luxurious packing a bag I'm wearing my set active set oh I forgot I have that t-shirt on too um we're going to New York Pilates for a little 12 o'clock class I slept in today which was nice I initially was signed up for the 9 a.m. class and I was like I don't need to do that like I'm grateful that I don't have to so let's do 12 and then afterwards we're gonna go to chill house and do the sauna because I have a membership there and a lot of people ask me like, oh, did you cancel your Equinox membership? And no, I did not. I love going to Equinox. The Equinox, like my Equinox, doesn't have saunas. The only that I know of, the Equinox that have saunas in New York City are Hudson Yards, which is pretty far, Upper West Side Sports Club, and then Fidei. So, Chill House made sense for me. I'm in Greenwich Village. It's in Soho, and it's $250 a month. Um, for unlimited sauna sessions. I'm working with them, so I am getting gifted it, which is so nice. So yeah, I'm trying to go once a week. It's so lovely. You get your like own pod, and you get to be in there for 60 minutes. So I usually sauna for like 30 to 40 minutes, and then there's a shower literally in there, and the music is so relaxing. It's amazing. So I'm packing a change of dry clothes for when I get in the sauna, and you can either go naked. I mean, you're literally in there alone or with a towel around you or last time I wore a swimsuit and I really liked that so I'm gonna grab a swimsuit because that was really nice to just like lay around um and yeah we'll get a little sauna session in and then come back and I have an event tonight with smart water what I'm really excited about like I'm doing a campaign with them and part of it is going to the event and Ryan's gonna come with me so and it's like on the 41st floor of some building so I think it's gonna be cool um but yeah so I need to pack a bag of like comfy chill clothes all right what's in my tote bag you might ask so I'm already wearing my workout set and I'm wearing this New York Pilates sweatshirt and then when I after I sauna I'm gonna put on the sweatpants and then I brought like another tank top from Aritzia and then this sweatshirt as for the products I bring they actually have deodorant there and like body lotion and some other things but I bring dry shampoo this is from Vegamore I believe it's talc free and I know a lot of people are talking about that right now so that makes me happy that this doesn't have talc in it and it smells so good so what I do is, because I literally have like fresh hair, but I don't want that to stop me from sauna. Steam room, you kind of just have to have it be on a hair wash day, but sauna, it's a little different because it's like dry heat. So what I do is I will spray some dry shampoo in my roots and put my hair up with this, um, just like a silk slip hair tie, scrunchy like a big one, so it doesn't make a dent, and just like a really high like ponytail bun where you kind of fold it not like a wrap around bun but just like a ponytail that you pull through and make like a little bun if that makes sense and it really lasts the whole time and I get out and then I use I'm obsessed with this brush it's the tangle teaser brush oh my god make sure it looks so good and then I just bring the Kiehl's repair barrier cream and this is like all I put on after it's um good to um keep up with your skin's moisture barrier so I just bring this it's a really good product I just started using it and yeah I just put it all in this aloe bag that I got when I was shopping there so I don't know maybe that's how you get it we are off to Pilates <laughs> right here and I'm honestly starving um, but the overnight oats hold me out for a little bit I had like half of a granola bar on my walk here 
but yeah and a lot of you guys gave me some really good recs on like what to add to my overnight oats like like cinnamon which I think would be so good some honey so we're gonna figure this out together my friends All right, we are back now. It was lovely, lunch was lovely. I got a really fun package in the mail from Amazon with a ton of cool things, one of which is this rapid egg cooker, which I'm very, very excited about because I've always wanted one and just never got one. And Amazon said, here you go. Very, very, very thankful because um, I love hard boiled eggs and you guys know sometimes I buy them pre hard boiled, which I know is so annoying. So yeah, there's like a heating plate and then you put the eggs in here. You're supposed to take this bottom part off and there's a little spiky thing. You pierce the bottom of the egg, fill this up with water, you pour the water onto the heating plate, and then you cover and press the power button. And it says four, to, like I'll probably just do like three eggs to start. So it says four to six minutes. Oh wait, no. No, seven minutes, I guess. So I'm gonna try this now while I'm like cleaning and doing stuff, cause this is cool. All right, I ended up doing five eggs cause I have a whole other carton in my fridge. So we're gonna, I put the water underneath. And so this means I cook it for 16 minutes. I'm just like convinced, like is this really gonna work? All right, Alexa, set timer for 16 minutes. Bitch. Oh, I unplugged her on accident, oh my god. Guys, I'm so confused. My timer still says 14 minutes, but this is like playing a song. Oh. I guess that means turn it off. Ah! Okay. I had to put a paper towel under it, you guys. It started to... <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Ooh, hot. What's the next step in this? Okay, they're all supposedly done. I kept them in a little bit longer because my timer wasn't done yet. Um, that one I think is definitely good. I don't know. The one thing I'm not good at is like peeling hard boiled eggs, so we'll see. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put them in the refrigerator after to let them cool because I can't even touch them right now. They're so hot, so updates to come. Can we just take a second for this era? I'm in like I have my overnight oats there, my sliced cucumbers. These are like these help keep your produce fresh longer like i have a tomato in there my lettuce like who is she all right we are all ready for the smart water event i'm so excited it's on like the 41st floor like i want to see the views and apparently alex toussaint from peloton's gonna be there i've taken his classes before the um the dress code was elevated athleisure so fun so I started off, I just got this in the mail today from Anthropology. I'm so excited. It's from the brand Beyond Yoga. I was just wanting, because sometimes in my Pilates classes, people wear like these onesies, like the long pant ones. And I was like, that's fun. So I got this one as black, and then I just put on some fun layer necklaces. This one, I believe, is from the M Jewelers. This is a GOTG necklace my mom got me that I don't know where this one's from. I added some rings to it. I like forget that I have rings and I used to be such a ring girl. And then I'm wearing these Maggie Villa Maria earrings. And then I love this look so much. I paired just a black blazer over top. I'm like obsessed with this. And then I have white high socks and these black and white Nike dunks that I have that I always forget to wear. So it's perfect. The theme was black and white actually. Elevated athleisure, so I think this is a vibe. And then I could like do this to add more to the outfit, or I could just wear it on my shoulder. Haven't really decided. Um, but yeah, I might just wear this so I don't have to bring an extra jacket. What is that? Like a stupid idea if I have to like wait outside or something? I don't really know. But we're gonna go. Brian's gonna meet me there. He's actually gonna be in a suit because he's coming from work, which we love. Um, anyways, I'm excited. Trays are coming, so we're just standing right here. I think 
because every now and then someone passes by with more food. All right, dinner tonight, industry kitchen. We just left the event, it was so much fun. Ryan's got his backpack. Guys, there was an Apple Watch in the gift bag, so we put it in his backpack. I do love being by the water though. See, these igloos are cute though, Ryan. But I guess if there's inside. We made it to the igloo. It's heated in here, the water is right there. Industry kitchen, baby. We came here last time during the summer and obviously there's none of these. It's so cute. And then we pressed the button and we're ready to order, which makes sense because I was like, how is he ever going to find us? But um, nice big ready? menu. Ready? No, I don't even know what I'm drinking. One of my favorite combos to get is Caesar salad with meatballs. And they happen to have both of those things. I wouldn't call this Italian restaurant, but they do have like pizzas and stuff. Ryan got the chicken. Protein king. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. I didn't sleep so good. I slept and then I woke up at like 6 a.m. It's that time of the month. I'm cramping so hard. I woke up pretty hungry, so I'm gonna eat these overnight oats. Heat pack, you guys know the drill. The highlight of my morning. Good morning, everybody. I am so beyond late. I've had a morning trying to, cause I upload a video on Wednesday and then also we upload Gals and Lego podcast and do all the promo for that. And then we also upload a YouTube video for it. And um, things are just not working for random reasons when technology is just starting, starting to be weird. Um, and I'm also just on my period and I just feel like fucking shit, if I'm honest. Um, so, but I have my, so this is like the one I like really can't cancel. It's not like... Pilates class. It's my one-on-one -on -one training with Jane and like She takes time out of her day to like be there for me all the things and I pay a lot for this um, so I Don't want to cancel I have before when I was just like not well But this is just cramps and they say working out is good for your cramps But I asked her if we could just like do super light stretching and stuff, which I think would be good for me um <laughs> Anyways, I'm just really not doing great right now and I'm about to be so work for, late for this, but you know, that's real. So, happy Wednesday. stretching and then honestly Jane was like now we're going to work because she was like workout helps with cramps I'm definitely feeling less crampy I'm just like that was like extra hard for me today um and I'm proud of myself but now we're gonna make some lunch because I'm going to get my hair done today haircut and then just like my roots did but yeah, I'm like there for four or five hours. So I'm like, I need to make lunch right now and pack snacks. Like you're in there for a while. Lunch today, cauliflower thins, turkey, tomato slice, bean sprouts, or yeah, whatever these are, sprouts, some cheese, and then I need to make more of this soon. This sub sauce that I made, that's red wine vinegar, olive oil, and oregano. I transported here. We're doing our one pot pasta, our recipe. No, we found it on Pinterest. This is famous Danielle's Lane recipe. It is. We've made it many times in college, and it's basically you put a ton of things 
in a pot pan and it all cooks together like you put the pasta in dry with everything and it like all cooks together and it's so flavorful so Delaney got all the ingredients for that this morning and we're gonna get to it got this cool tool I need to get this one because mine I have to like pull it but that's a lot easier oh my god guys it's coming together really well put the garlic yeah oh yeah that's hot oh my god it looks like Pinterest wait it's is it done not it not I mean, yeah, we just like everything's water. prepped yeah yeah so then you just add water and let it boil all together we'll and grate some parmesan but of course of there. course yeah she's got a cheese grater and everything we're in a professional kitchen right now <laughs> Looking good. Yay! And we're watching Sex Lives with College Girls because Delaney hasn't finished it and I'm obsessed with the show, so I'm thriving re-watching it. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. Last night was so lovely. I just came back and watched a little Nashville and went to bed. Um, my mirror finally got hung up and it looks so good. But guys, I woke up this morning and that crack was in the mirror. I am so spooked. Is there a ghost in my apartment? Like literally last night, this was not there. I'm like, what could have happened? Um, the mirror looks great, but I mean, now it's broken. I'm so spooked. Like I'm, I really, I'm so scared. I sent it to my dad and he was like, there must have already been a micro crack in the mirror. And then once it got hung up, I literally just posted it on my Instagram story because I'm so spooked. Um, and now I'm like, do I take it off the wall so it doesn't like crack anymore? Like, I don't know. Um, it's Thursday. Today's a very special day for two reasons. One, it, getting a different mug. Today, March 2nd, is my mom's birthday which is exciting. I'm about to FaceTime her right now. And two, it's Ryan and I's four year anniversary. Four, four. So freaking crazy that we've been dating for four years. Four years ago today, um, we were at Silent Disco for a date night. <laughs> and sorry, my Keurig's blinking. Um, it was on his fraternity's date night, and we had been, like, going on dates for a min. Um, and I don't know what came over him, but literally at this date night, all of a sudden, he pulls me aside, and it's silent disco, so we had headphones on, and he takes me to, like, another room of this venue, and he takes off my headphones, and he, we're talking for, like, 30 minutes about why he wants to be my girl, my boyfriend, and why he feel like, feels like we, I kept saying no to, I was like, oh, like I just love my independence and all these things. And he was like, that's what I love about you. I'll make it work, you make me so happy, like all these things. And then I was like, okay. And then we were dating and I remember I woke up the next morning, I was like, oh my gosh, I have a boyfriend, that's so scary. I was so scared. <laughs> and now, here we are, living in New York together. So, it's a special day. We went to Carbone last Sunday, if you guys saw my last vlog, which was like a big celebration for our anniversary. But today's the actual day, and I'm a Virgo, and I need things to be done a certain way. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, we're going to do something tonight. He's got those reins, so not sure what we're doing. Oh, I'm just making a little coffee. But obviously he works, so... Um, during the day, I've got some things. I'm going, made a little six ounce coffee here. I'm going to Pilates at 9.30 with my friend Audrey, Audrey Trollinger. Okay, let's FaceTime my mom because I don't want her to see my Instagram story. I feel like, why didn't you call me yet? I wonder if anyone's responded about my mirror. Could it be the temperature? Is it cold in your apartment? Someone said, I think you have to move out. Stop. Well, one thing I didn't tell you guys, 
last night I came into my apartment and the guy that hung up my mirror, I like let him in and then like I left. So he left without me being here and I walk in at 10 p.m. last night. Granted, I guess he didn't know that I wasn't going to be like coming back like until later. Um, my door was wide open, my balcony door, and my heat was turned off. It was 48 degrees in here when I walked in. I was so spooked and it was kind of raining outside and I was and I texted him and he was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I got hot when I was hanging up the mirror and I like forgot like that won't happen again. But I was so scared. So I wonder if it being super cold in here and then turning on the heat did something. Investigative work. Good morning. The more I think about it, the more I think it was the temperature thing because that's so weird. Um, but I need to call my mom because it's her birthday. Happy birthday to you. How are you, birthday queen? I'm good. Oh, good. Your birthday present is arriving today. For me, I timed it way too good. Wow. So it'll say your name. It should be in okay. gift wrapping, but. Did you have fun shopping for it? I had so much fun shopping for it. Oh, good. Yeah, good. so you'll have to either FaceTime me when you're opening it or like send me pictures after. Just had a hard boiled egg from when I made those and I'm eating some berries that I'm gonna get changed for Pilates. Right, we oh, zoomed in. We're headed to Pilates. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing, oh my god, I forgot what brand this is. But if you guys remind me, I will link it below. It's like, I have it linked in my uh, Winter Links highlight on Instagram. It's a sports bra, and then you can buy like the matching black shrug. And then leggings are Lululemon. They're like the V ones. I can't decide if I like them because I keep like wanting them to pull them up. But I guess that's how it's supposed to be. It's like the V. So, I mean, they're cute but I just like feel more exposed than normal because I'm used to like high, high waisted. And I'm just wearing my Uggs and I'm gonna pack my Pilates socks. And I just have to fill up my water. I'm gonna head over, like I said, Audrey's meeting me there, which I'm excited to see her. And yeah, happy Thursday. All right, we are back now. I showered, Audrey and I did the Pilates class and then we went to Ralph's Coffee and chatted for a little bit. It was really nice. And then we were like running. I was seeing so many people because there was a, there is a Pat Bow gifting suite around here. And I'm going at 12 with Brooke and Katie. And Audrey was like going with some other girls. And I was like, ah, I'm going to wait till noon because I said I'd go with Katie and Brooke. Um, but then like we ran into jazz. It was so funny. So really excited. I like worked with Pat Bow last week and they wanted to invite back for their gifting suite and going to Cabo at the end of this month, and Pat Bo is very like tropical, beautiful stuff. Like if you have a special event or like a wedding or like a special trip, like their stuff is not inexpensive at all, but it's so cute. So I'm excited because Brooke and Katie are also going on the trip with me. I'm having some berries. Um, which one or the other? And I'm really excited. And then we're gonna do lunch ladies who lunch me brooke and katie because i haven't seen katie in forever she's been traveling we were like home on different weekends like we're due so we're gonna do lunch um but she's almost here so i'm gonna go meet her and we're gonna walk up i'll show you guys my outfit here is my outfit we were gonna dress up but like everyone i saw that was going was just wearing like casual so my new favorite onesie from beyond yoga Oh, by the way, you guys, I'm like really good at LTK now. I'll have a link down below to my profile. Or if you just look up Danielle Carolyn on LTK, I've been linking all of my outfits. Um, so yeah, this is the fit. I feel like such moms right now. This is awesome. Okay, we are back. We went to the lunch after and it was so lovely. Like, I love like a lunch of catching up with friends. Usually it's dinner, 
But like if you can, having that lunch, it was a vibe. I want to show you guys what I got at Pet Bow. I just got back. I think I showed a clip of this, but this is actually technically swimsuit material, so it's so comfy. She was like, in theory, you could get in the water in this, which I thought was pretty epic. Um, of course, it's all over the place. I think I'm going to wear this in Cabo. It's this beautiful long sleeve cutout dress, so flowy. It has this belt in the middle, and if for some reason I don't wear it in Cabo, this is so perfect for the Hamptons. I'm already thinking about the summer. Um, so I got that, and then kind of similar print, but I love this. This is like so tropical, like the print. This one is short, or a tank top, should I say. I love the black. Same cut out in the middle with the belt, and then it goes down. It's so beautiful on, like, I'm obsessed. And I think this is also swimsuit material. It's just so fun for vacation. Their stuff is so cute. And then lastly, in the same print, I got this skirt. Um, it's pretty sheer. You could, like, wear it out and, like, wear, like, a slip under or whatever. But I thought this would be perfect for a swimsuit cover up. Like, I'm really into black bikinis because they just, they're so chic and they, I don't know, they're cute. Um, so wearing like a black bikini with this skirt, it's kind of like a sarong vibe. And then it has this beautiful fringe on one side. It looks so cute on, it like hugged my booty, but then it like flowed out. It was so cute. So I thought this would be really perfect as a cover up. Or again, you could wear it with like a crop top and dress it up for the night. So we love that. My apartment has kind of become very messy. I'm realizing I've just been, I guess, like, kind of, like, go, go, go in a way. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Um, like, my dishes need to be done. I just went and bought some new dish soap. I got this. It's foaming dish spray from the brand Nine Elements. So I'm excited because I'm finished with my, that dish soap. So it's cool. I think it sprays into, like, a foam. So I'm going to, I have to wash some dishes. So we're going to try and, I'm like, really? Oh, it's not foam. Oh, it kind of is. So we'll see, I'm really used to like a soapy consistency, but I was very interested by this. Also very exciting, you guys know I love this brand, Outer Isle, their sandwich thins. They saw I posted about them. They sent me some goodies. They sent me my favorite sandwich thins, but then they also sent me the pizza crust. Oh, you can use it as a wrap too. I never thought about using it as a wrap. Um, so thank you so much, Outer Isle. I get them at Whole Foods. These sandwich thins are the best. I put turkey burgers on them or like, turkey or ham make a sandwich they're so good i also went to paper source and got ryan a little anniversary card i'm gonna write him a sweet note for tonight actually heading over now so found out that we're going to zinc bar tonight which is a jazz club which is so exciting and then we both realized that they don't have food there at least that we can tell and if you guys watched my last vlog you know I like actually did meal prep and I actually do have like meals to make I'm gonna make um, like a chicken caprese situation so I'm gonna actually bake the chicken because I love baked chicken here we go, um, and just bake that, and then I'm gonna put, after it's like in the oven for a little bit, put some mozzarella, which she's picking up right now, because I didn't get the right mozzarella. Um, I have more tomatoes here, and so mozzarella and basil, uh, balsamic on top when it's out, and then I'm gonna do broccoli as well. I thought I had broccoli, oh yeah, I do. I do, a side of broccoli, so it's gonna be a really good meal, and I'm excited to make it and play some Italian music, and I, wanted to be all ready when he got here, but I don't think I'm gonna be. So I might have to get ready after we eat, but that's fine. 
buys me more time because he's here while I'm getting ready. This just came in the mail today. I did a little skims order. I got some swimsuits for my Cabo trip. And I also got this dress because you guys know I love this dress. It's the short, the tank top version. So I got, it's the skims lounge dress and I got the long sleeve one. I think I'm going to wear it tonight. It's just, it fits like a glove. I get a size small. It's so comfortable. Ryan loves when I wear black. So <laughs> I do too, but I know he like loves a black dress moment. So yay. Now we're going to cook. Okay guys, look at this masterpiece. Broccoli, baked the chicken, put the mozzarella on top for like three minutes, then tomatoes. I wish I had balsamic glaze, but I have Italian seasoning that I put on the mozzarella, but put a little on top there just for some color. So, yum. Mm -hmm. 